and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Today we got the 1030 content. So as you guys know, last night we did get the NFL 100, the first four drops. We got a few guys last night at 9 o'clock, which is kind of how they do it. And then they do, they give us the rest Saturday mornings at 1030. So pretty much what they did was, they kind of made the Mutt 10 drop, the NFL 100 9 o'clock drops. And then the final four, they kind of incorporated as the 1030 legends. Although we're getting like eight or seven or eight guys. I want to say... I want to say eight. I think I saw four month leaks, but I'm going to go through it all. Obviously, in the auction block, I'm going to go through the stats of the cards, who I recommend, who I like, kind of what's my opinion on all these cards. So you guys kind of have an idea of what you should probably be picking up. Quite a few things to go over. Kind of excited for all these legends, obviously, but I do miss our old style of legends. Our old, I miss the old days with the Mutt 10 on Fridays and the Saturday legends. These are kind of a little overwhelming, but we're going to get through it, guys. Now, if you guys don't already know, which you definitely know, it is the 25 days of food, Miss Boys. To enter this giveaway, as you guys know, it's increasing giveaways every single day, all the way up until the final day of December. We are still at 30K. We're going to make our way up as we get closer to the Zero Cheer promo and so on and so forth. But all you got to do to enter is go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Come join the family. Comment down below the secret word you're going to hear throughout this video and your console. And make sure to like the video. Once you do those three things, you are entered to win the giveaway. So make sure you do that. These are going every single day. So the odds of you guys winning are probably very high. Make sure you go on every video for the day and do all those things so that you can enter three times. So four times, depending on how many times I post, does give you the best chance. Now let's head over to the auction box. We obviously have a lot of stuff to go over. I'm going to go through all seven to eight of the cards, whichever, whichever amount comes out. And the stats and tell you guys who I, pref I think you should pick up, who's overrated, who's underrated. And you guys get the point. So 94 to 95, let's go check these guys out. So... I imagine the one guy that I'm thinking of is going to probably be the first one, which should be the punter, because he'll probably be the cheapest one out of the bunch. And I am not seeing him, surprisingly. But we do see Devin Hester, so let's start with Devin Hester. Devin Hester was one of the guys dropped last night in the NFL 100 wide receivers. So, he's 5'11", and he sold out. He's 5'11", so the height doesn't really matter too much, because you're not he's not a wide receiver. He's a gadget player. He's the typical, put him at punt returner, put him at kick returner, put him on the screen, put him at wildcat. He does everything but play the position he's at now. Can you play him wide receiver? Yes. Do I recommend putting him on post, deep routes, deep posts, corners? No. His route running is not, his route running is going to get obliterated by the top tier players we have in this game now. But if you put him on a slant, you put him on a drag, you get him wide open, he's going to make plays. Now powered up, chemmed up, he's going to have like a 96 speed. With, if you're okay, if you have, if you have shaker, if you know, if you have sprinter times two, you have John Madden athleticism and you powered him up, he will have a 99 speed. 99 speed. So you can easily get him to 99 speed. It's really not that hard on the Seven Hester card. Plus you'll have close to 99 agility and you can get human joystick. So do I recommend getting this card? Kind of because it is, I think the first card that can actually acquire a human joystick and his NFL 100 ability that he starts with is protective custody, which means that he cannot fumble, which the only good thing about that is you can do like twist, turns, juice, double YYs, whatever you gotta do, whatever you wanna do, cause he cannot fumble. So that is very, very useful. And if you don't really do much receiver stuff with him, I think it's gonna be very hard for you to lose his X factor. So do I recommend picking him up? Yes, I think he's a solid card, especially if you wanna get glitchy with a certain card. Next we have Deion Sanders. Is he a pickup? I don't even gotta look at the stats. He's a, for sure a pickup. He's six feet tall, 95 speed, 95 excel, 95 agility, 92 jumping, 90 play rec, 94 man, 91 zone, 79 press. Now, if you guys already know, what does this Deion Sanders look like to you? If you guys played Madden last year, this looks just like the Blitz Deion Sanders from last year. Literally a carbon copy replica. Now, why is that? The Blitz did just end this week, and last year it came out about this week, so they kind of dropped the same Dion a year later. Now, if you compare it to my Dion, fully powered up. The only big difference between these two Dion's, the press still sucks, the man's still the same, the zone's still the same. The only real difference between these Dion's is going to be the athleticism, the speed, and that's going to be the difference between the two cards. Now, this is a big difference, though, because he's not powered up. Powered up, powered up with John Madden and Sprinter, Dion Sanders will have a 99 speed in, like, a 99 Excel, close to 99 Agile. He's gonna have a very, very high man coverage and a very high zone, high play rec, high jumping. He's gonna be the most athletic card in the game when it comes to defense. So he's obviously a pickup. This is this is prime time. The other one was like baby prime time. This is gonna be real time prime time. So I highly recommend you pick up this card up. I will be scooping them as soon as I get the coin stack. I'm probably gonna be the first card I actually go for out of the bunch. I definitely need Lawrence Taylor, but Deion Sanders is too great to miss on. Next we got Ray Guy. He's a punter. 73 speed doesn't really matter they sell whatever he's decently fast for a punter to be honest with you guys but that's not going to really cut it it's 94 kick power 91 kick accuracy is what you got to be concerned about now compared to my punter which is treyway definitely a big improvement i clearly can't punt that far which is kind of a difference by the way i got a high five from that guy on sunday just in case you guys didn't know 
this I didn't know who he was, but now now I do. I, I saw him and I saw the name, and now that I see I have him on my team, that's pretty cool. But going over to here, definitely an improvement at punter. I definitely need a big punter, but why what can I recommend paying over 500 k for a punter? No. If he gets into like the three, four hundred k range, by all means pick him up if you have that. If you have that luxury, by all means go ahead and do so. But I don't think I can advise I, I don't think I can advise doing that. So as far as the offense goes, let's go over to defense to see the other ones. So we got Ray Guy, we got Devin Hester, we got Deion Sanders. There is one more from yesterday's drop to show you guys. And then once we cover him, we gotta look for the new ones right after that. It is Willie Brown. I was blanking for a second. Willie Brown, 94 overall. Now the NFL 100 abilities, I do not know all the ones I start with. I think that's locked down or something, but we obviously have to see all that as we get into you have to have you have to pick up the cards to see all the ones you can get he's six foot one 92 speed 90 excel 90 agility 90 jumping 91 play rec 93 man 92 zone and 92 press what does this card look like to you this is night train lane it's exact it's night train lane same speed uh, you can obviously power up willie brown they're gonna have the almost same speed almost the same excel almost the same agility night train lane's gonna have a little bit better agility and jumping so he's more athletic Play rec's gonna be almost the same. Man's better on Willie Brown. Zone's better on Nitro Lane, and the press is almost the same. They're almost identical cards. They're gonna be six foot one, physical corners. Nitro Lane's a little more athletic. Willie Brown's a slightly better coverage guy. That's pretty much the basis of it, and it's really not that. It's, they're almost the same cards. So I will not be making the switch up Nitro Lane for Willie Brown. I'm more than okay with my Nitro Lane, and then I'm gonna pick up Dion at some point. Now let's go look for the actual new cards that they just released at 10:30. Your word for today is Santa. Comment down below, Santa. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below your system, and like the video. Once you do those things, you are entered to win. So one of the new ones that just get posted, Ronnie Lott is one of the guys that just dropped. This is going to be pretty crazy. If my memory stands me correctly, Ronnie Lott can do almost everything. He has a lightning bolt, which I think is like, what is that called again? Reinforcement. I don't remember the exact one, but he does have that as NFL 100. Let's see his stats. 90 speed. Speed's great. 92 excel. Great excel. 89 tackle. Great tackle. 89 play rec. 90 pursuit. 83 man coverage. 92 zone coverage. 95 hit power. You could put this guy at cornerback, and he's going to be a monster, but, wow. I feel like I just I just lost my love for Brian Dawkins. I see what the behind-the-card stats are looking like. This card's looking pretty insane, not gonna lie. 90 jumping. Does he have anything that's crazy that I'd missed on the front of the card? What's his catch in traffic? 67. 74 spec catch. 95 hit power. 84 press. He can even press. And does he have... What's his block shed? I kind of care about the block shed here. 79 block shedding for a secondary guy. Okay, this guy's actually really, really good. Comparing him to Brian Dawkins, he does beat him absolutely everywhere. I'm going to have to scoop this card at some point. This is definitely a solid, solid card. The only issue is my coin stack. I definitely need to somehow get some coins because I'm not going to pick up all these guys. We got Rod Woodson as one of the other guys. His arm looks really disproportionate to the rest of his body. But let's go check him out. 92 speed, 93 excel, 94 agility, 90 jumping, 90 play rec, 90 man, 92 man, 90 zone, 85 press. He should have good kick return stats and should have good juke and spin, I believe. If I'm not wrong, 80, 80 spin, 85 juke, and he should have, should be a really good kick returner and a decent catcher. 75 spec catch, yeah, I saw that coming, and 76 hit power. Comparing him to my nitro lane, though, is it really an upgrade? Not exactly. I don't really see his press isn't great enough for me to justify him. He's like Rod Woodson's always been like a wannabe Dion slash a wannabe physical corner. He's somewhere in between, and I never really liked him because he's not—he's never the fastest, but he's also never the best coverage. But he's also never the most athletic. He's somewhere like he's somewhere in the middle of both. Not really a fan. Definitely don't need to make the switch on Rod Woodson for my team. In my opinion, I don't think Rod Woodson's worth it. Ronnie Lott definitely worth it. Ed Reed though. Let's see how he compares to Pat Tillman. He's 93 speed, 93 excel. 80 tackle, 91 play rec, 86 pursuit, 82 man, 93 zone, and 88 hit power. This card looks very similar to Ronnie Lott, just not as strong. Let's see what he's looking like compared to Pat Tillman. The speed's better, the excel's better, the tackle's way worse, the play rec's way worse, the pursuit's way worse, the man's not as great. The zone is similar because I can power Pat Tillman's zone, so I don't really see the issue there. I can cap him up, I mean. And then the hit power is way better. So I think Pat Tillman, still for a free card, definitely stacks up almost the same. I'd much rather stick with my Pat Tillman. Is this Ed Reed? If you don't have this Pat Tillman, Ed Reed is a phenomenal strong safety. But when you got a guy like Pat Tillman for free, it's very hard to justify. It's very hard to justify not sticking with him, considering that he's free. So let's go to offense. I don't know who the final guy was, but I'm imagining he's on offense. I don't know. No, it shouldn't be. Is it a kicker? I think it was a kicker, because we got a punter. So let's go, let's go check this out. Alright guys, so Adam and Terry is up. It was a kicker, that's what I figured. 
He has 92 kick power, 94 kick accuracy, and that's kind of all you care about in a kicker. Let's so compare it to my Justin Tucker. He has two better kick power, four better kick accuracy. Can I justify spending a million coins as it shows right there for a kicker? No. I'd much rather stick with my Tucker. The, the Tucker market should come down a little bit, a little bit cheaper. I'd, re I'd, I'd recommend you pick up Tucker. Gets the job done now. Will Adam Vinatieri make that slightly further kick that you maybe not might not be able to pick in certain games? Definitely. With win, can you probably knock in above 60? Yes, he can. But for the right price, I can I can advise that you pick him up. But at this current price, I think I'm better off just waiting. Now, a lot of these new cards are coming down in price. If, I, if I'm going to recommend who to pick up, Ed Reed, I think, is not a pickup if you have Pat Tillman. Rob Woodson is not a pickup. Ronnie Lott is a pickup. Devin Hester is a pickup. Deion Sanders is a pickup. I don't think Vinatieri or Ray Guy are pickups. And... So check the other one just to give you guys my last clarification on these i don't i don't think willie brown's a pickup i'm probably missing someone here but you guys heard throughout the video who i recommend who i don't recommend i mean there's there's like i think like three to four guys are pickups here and the other three or four are not but these guys are already coming down in price so if you want to pick them up i recommend you do them soon because their prices will probably be coming down pretty fast and if you guys know who the best one's going to be like if you guys have some that you know are going to be glitchy you've seen on twitter or youtube or whatever already go for those guys because they will rise in price just like just like eric dickerson did when once people found out that he was the best one he will be rising price but do that as you will guys that is it for the video thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel make sure to join the giveaway all you gotta do is to join the giveaway is hit the subscribe button turn on the noti bell comment down below your system and the secret word you heard throughout the video and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up once you do all those things you are going to win the giveaway good luck i'll see you guys in the next video peace